The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs is a United Nations body formed in December 1991 by General Assembly Resolution 46182. The resolution was designed to strengthen the UN's response to complex emergencies and natural disasters. Earlier UN organizations with similar tasks were the Department of Humanitarian Affairs DHA, and its predecessor, the Office of the United Nations Disaster Relief Coordinator UNDRO. In 1998, due to reorganization, DHA merged into OCHA and was designed to be the UN focal point on major disasters. It is a sitting observer of the political debate United Nations Development Group. After merging with the DHA, its mandate was expanded to encompass the coordination of humanitarian response, policy development, and humanitarian advocacy. The agency activities include organization and monitoring of humanitarian funding, as well as information exchange, coordination, and rapid response teams for emergency relief. Since May 2017, OCHA is led by Mark Lowcock as Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator (USG ERC), appointed for a five-year term. From 2013 to 2016, OCHA organized the World Humanitarian Summit that was held in Istanbul, Turkey, on May 23 and 24, 2016. Topic: Staff and country offices. OCHA is headed by the Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator since May 2017 by Mark Lowcock. It has two headquarters in New York and Geneva, eight regional offices, 32 field offices, 23 humanitarian advisor teams, and three liaison offices. Topic. Staff As of June 2016, OCHA has 2,300 staff spread across the world in over 60 countries. Topic. Country offices Major OCHA country offices are located in all continents, among others in Afghanistan, Central African Republic, Chad, Colombia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Palestinian territories, Sri Lanka, Sudan including a sub-office in South Sudan's capital Juba, Syria, and Zimbabwe, while regional offices are located in Panama City, Dhaka, Cairo, Johannesburg, and Bangkok. OCHA also has some liaison and support staff in New York and Geneva. Topic: Services. OCHA has built up a range of services in the execution of its mandate. Some of the larger ones are IRIN – Integrated Regional Information Networks, a humanitarian news and analysis service 1995 Since 1 January 2015, IRIN now operates as an independent news service and is no longer affiliated with OCHA. INSARAG – International Search and Rescue Advisory Group ReliefWeb – a leading source of time-critical humanitarian information on global crises and disasters. ReliefWeb is a 24-7 service that provides the latest reports, maps, infographics, and videos from trusted sources, as well as jobs and training programs for humanitarians. 1996 Central Emergency Response Fund, a humanitarian fund established by the UN General Assembly to 1 promote early action and response to reduce loss of life, 2 enhance response to time critical requirements, and 3 strengthen core elements of humanitarian response in underfunded crises 2006. Humanitarian reform seeks to improve the effectiveness of humanitarian response by ensuring greater predictability, accountability and partnership. Who does what where database and contact management directory, to ensure that appropriate and timely humanitarian response is delivered during a disaster or emergency, information must be managed efficiently. 
The key information that are important to assess and ensure that humanitarian needs are met in any emergency, disaster are, to know which organizations who are carrying out what activities what in which locations where which is also universally referred to as the 3W who does what where. The Integrated Contact Management Directory, complements the 3W database, making it easy for the user to navigate through the application. 2006. Common and Fundamental Operational Datasets CODs are critical datasets that are used to support the work of humanitarian actors across multiple sectors. They are considered a de facto standard for the humanitarian community and should represent the best available datasets for each theme. The Fundamental Operational Datasets FODs are datasets that are relevant to a humanitarian operation, but are more specific to a particular sector or otherwise do not fit into one of the seven COD themes. The main source of curated CODs is accessible via the Humanitarian Data Exchange, though CODs may also be found on various governmental and independent websites. Since 2004, OCHA has partnered with the Center for Excellence in Disaster Management and Humanitarian Assistance to facilitate OCHA's Civil Military Coordination course in the Asia-Pacific region. The UNCM CORD course is designed to address the need for coordination between international civilian humanitarian actors, especially UN humanitarian agencies, and international military forces in an international humanitarian emergency. This established UN training plays a critical role in building capacity to facilitate effective coordination in the field by bringing together approximately 30 practitioners from the spectrum of actors sharing operational space during a humanitarian crisis and training them on UN coordination mechanisms and internationally recognized guidelines for civil military coordination. Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs Occupied Palestinian Territory OCHA's country office in the Occupied Palestinian Territory OPT, established in 2002 to support international efforts to respond to the deteriorating humanitarian situation in the OPT. <laughs> <laughs> humanitarian innovation in organizations The OCHA encourages humanitarian innovation within organizations. For organizations, it is a way of identifying and solving problems while changing business models to adapt to new opportunities. In OCHA's occasional policy paper Humanitarian Innovation, the state of the art, they list the reasons why organizations are moving toward providing their own kind of humanitarian service through innovation. Shifting business models based on public demand, there is a growing amount of humanitarian emergencies and the old model of response does not fit the modern problem. Increased contributions from the private sector, private organizations are driven by their obligation to corporate social responsibility and now associate their contributions to their brand. Developing partnerships within organizations, partnerships lead to new ideas and solutions to problems. Trend toward developing innovative technologies. Technology allows people to respond to emergencies quicker. They also list potential challenges associated with these changes. Humanitarian innovation requires a different market structure. It is assumed that there is no incentive for private organizations to participate in humanitarian innovation. Inequalities in power can stimulate conflict. There is no general principle for ethics in innovation. If humanitarian innovation is carried out incorrectly, there can be consequences to communities, individuals, or the system at large. Monetary and political risk If humanitarian efforts fail, this risk can cause delayed responses to humanitarian issues, so organizations tend to look to the past rather than plan for the future. International dialing code. The OCHA has been assigned its own international calling code plus 888. Telephone numbers in the plus 888 country code will be assigned to agencies providing humanitarian relief. The plus 888 code will be implemented by Voxbone. See also 
Civil defense Humanitarian aid World Humanitarian Summit <laughs>